Okay guys, so today I have a very cool looking trick to show you all, and this is the performance for it right now. So I'm sure all of you have heard the story of the four jacks go to rob a bank, um, where they all go in separate sections of the bank, and then with the snap of the fingers, they all rise up to the rooftop just in time to escape. So this trick is actually chapter two of that story, where the four jacks over here try to infiltrate the highest security facility bank in the entire world. Uh, the only problem is that this bank is very small, but don't be confused by the size. This is still a very high security bank over here. So the four jacks are going to be trying to um, rob this bank over here just like this. So we have the four jacks over here. I'm going to introduce them to you right now. So we got jack number one, jack number two, jack number three, and jack number four. So the four jacks for now, we're just going to set them aside. Um, they're going to uh, come up with a plan just in a minute. So Basically, the high security bank actually consists of 12 cards over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards over here. These 12 cards are all random cards, and they can all be completely shuffled. It honestly doesn't even matter. So as you all know, 12 cards, um, they can be divided into four groups of three. And this high security bank consists of four sections, um, each containing four vaults just like this, or each containing one vault, just like this. So we have four sections just like this of three random cards, and these all represent just one single vault. So the four jacks over here, they have actually come up with a plan. Each of them is going to go inside of each vault, and they're just going to grab as much money as they can. So the first jack over here, he is going to go inside of the first vault just like this. The second jack is going to go right here inside of the second vault right over there. The third jack is going to go inside of this vault, and the final jack is just going to go right here on top of this vault right over here. So the first jack scrambles to get as much money as he can, the second jack does the same, third jack does the same, and the fourth jack does the same until he realizes something fishy is going on here. They did not realize it at first, but now they realize that the first, second, and third vaults all had secret tunnels that led to the fourth vault over here. And now they realize that they've all been caught and this was all a setup and now they're all going to go to jail. So that is basically the trick guys. It is very, very cool. Um, and now this is the tutorial for the trick. All right guys, so once again, I'm bringing you a very, very cool advanced sleight of hand card trick. And the best part about this trick is it's actually completely impromptu. So if you're in the middle of a magic routine or you just walk up to your friends, you guys just go through your deck, pull out the four jacks and 12 random cards. That's all you need for this trick, just the four jacks and 12 random cards. Doesn't matter what the 12 cards are, just as long as they're from the same deck, obviously. So this is gonna be the tutorial for the trick right now. So basically just get out the four jacks, 12 random cards, and you're all ready to go. So basically how you're gonna start out the trick is you just set the four jacks here on the table, and you're just gonna be explaining um, the trick of the four jacks rob the bank. Say this is chapter two of that story, and now you can show off this um, bank over here. You can give it a shuffle. Just say this is a very small, very high security facility bank, just like this. So then you can shuffle this up, and you can just spread out the cards here. So what you're going to do, as you're spreading out the cards, you're actually going to need to obtain a break right here underneath the top three cards. It doesn't matter what these cards are, but you just need to get a break underneath the top three random cards of this pack over here. So you have three cards over here. How I do this is I just spread out the cards. I eyeball these three cards over here. I use my index finger and I put it on that third card right over here. I kind of lift up as I square just like this so that I can place my pinky right inside of there just like that. So now I can grab the four jacks with my hand, place them on top of the pack just like this, still holding that break. Now I'm going to take everything above the break and now I'm holding the four jacks and three random cards just like this. So I'm just holding all those cards together just like this, as I pick them up with my thumb. So now you're gonna count off the four jacks and make sure not to say the names of the jacks. Don't be like, so here's a jack of diamonds, jack of clubs. Don't do that, just say jack number one, jack number two, number three, number four. You don't wanna say the names of the jacks for a very specific reason. And that's because you're only gonna be showing two of them pretty much throughout the entire trick and you don't want them to remember that. So you're just gonna count them off here. You're just gonna say jack number one, jack number two. All I'm doing is I'm just peeling them off and setting them down. Jack number three, and then jack number four has actually three cards right underneath it. So what you're gonna do, instead of peeling this one off, you're actually gonna place everything down first and then peel that one down, just like that. So now you've just basically set down the three cards on top. So now you have one jack here, 
three random cards, and then the three jacks, just like that. And that's the setup. So now you count off the top four cards and say, all right, so the four jacks over here, we're going to set them on the table. But before you do, you're actually going to get a break underneath the top card over here. This is actually one of the jacks. And you're going to square it up really quickly. You're going to take everything from the break and set it down on the table. You've just set down five cards on the table, meaning that you have one jack here, three random cards in the middle, and a second jack over here. Now what you have are two jacks on top of this stack of cards over here. And make sure to keep this obviously squared up on the table. So now this is a little nice convincer that I added into the trick where you can count off that you have actually 12 cards here because they weren't really sure exactly how many cards you have. But now you can tell them you have 12 cards. You actually have 11 cards here in your hand. Believe it or not, you actually have 11 cards here. But you're going to be counting this top card twice. And how you do that is you count this off as one. And then as you count off two, you're actually going to load this in the back again. So you're going to go one, load it in the back and catch it with your thumb as you say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. That card will be counted twice and now it looks like you have twelve cards. So once you do that, you're actually going to end up with one jack on top, one jack on the bottom. And what you can do at this point is you do a shuffle where you're going to hold the top card with your thumb and the bottom card with your four fingers and you're just going to peel everything out except for the top and bottom cards. So you're going to be holding the top and bottom card with your fingers as you peel everything out just like this so that they come together and then you're just going to shuffle the cards on top of those cards just like this and now you just need to control these two cards to the top now so all I do is I just overhand shuffle one at a time and that will slowly but surely bring up the two jacks to the top just like this. So now you're going to explain the building of the high facility bank just like this. Um, basically what's going to be happening is you're going to take the top three cards over here and you're going to say, so we're going to set down four sections of three cards each. And as you say this, you're going to take the top three cards and you're going to square them up for just a split second. And you're actually going to ditch this last card on top of the pack. So you're going to take the three cards and kind of just let that card go as you hold a break, holding the break right below the two cards, take the two cards and set them on the table. So all it looks like in full performance speed is it looks like you've taken the top three cards, squared them up, set them on the table. But you've actually have two cards here and you have actually ditched the third card here on the deck. So that's the first part. And then the next three sections, you're literally just setting down three cards. And you can even show um, these three cards freely because these are all going to be random cards and then just square them up and Just show that you have three cards here four sections just like this So now you're gonna pick up the five cards here on the table But you actually want to make it look like four and if you guys want to you can just go one two three four But I don't really like to do that at all It's just it kind of adds to the suspicion of the trick So I just don't really do anything I just pick up the four jacks here and I move on to the next part of the trick So basically this part is pretty easy You're gonna hold the cards in middle grip just like this and you're gonna count off three cards So you're gonna go Go one, two, three, and you're going to take this double here. This is a double, and you're going to flip it over here on top of the pack. So this is actually a double here with a jack and a random card. You're going to take the double, and you're going to flip it back over, and you're going to take the first jack. It's actually going to be a random card, and you're going to slip it in the first vault just like this, and make sure to do it into the side vault. Don't put it in this vault. This one is going to be the last one that you do, so make sure you do this one and then this one then this one. Save the bottom one, or the closest one to you. Save the closest one to you for the last one. So now you've just placed a random card in there. So now you have this situation. You have top jack, two random cards, and a bottom jack, just like this. So now you're going to peel off two cards, just like this. One, two, and then flip over this double here, this double of this jack over here, and you're going to flip the double back over. Say this jack is going to go in this section here, and this is going to be another random card. This is going to go in this section here. Now what you have is a jack, a random card, and another jack. You're going to peel off one card, just one card, and take this double here, flip it over on top, and say the third jack is going to go here in the middle of this section, and this is actually going to be a random card now. And the last jack, you're actually holding two cards here, but you just want to show off one card, so you can even go like this, you can be like, and the last jack is going to go um, right here on this pile. And what you can do is you can either take this card or take these two cards and put them on top, or you can actually like kind of jam them into the middle. The reason I don't want to do that is just because there are only two cards here, and if I do jam them into the middle, I might expose that there are only two cards here. So all I do is I just take this card, 
go like this, and I just place it here on top of the pack and square it up. So now I say the first jack infiltrates the first vault, just like this, scrambles around for money. Second jack does the same third jack does the same, and the fourth jack does the same, until he realizes something fishy. Now at this point, I'm actually going to turn to these three vaults first, and I'm going to leave this one for the end. They have a subconscious image in their mind that the jack of clubs was the last one there, um, but now that you do this, and you're going to show these three piles first, they're going to completely forget the order of the jacks. So that's why you show these three first, and then save this one for later. So first you're going to say, they now they realize that the first, second, and third vault all had secret tunnels leading to this vault over here, and you can just kind of flip them over on the table, showing the four jacks have now been caught, and it was all a setup, and now they're all gonna go to jail. So that's like a really, really cool advanced version of the jacks go ahead and rob the bank card trick. So I really, really like this advanced version better, just because, you know, it exercises my sleight of hand a lot, and I think you guys who are advanced magicians will definitely get a kick out of this, performing it to your friends and family. So go out, perform this trick, hopefully you guys like the video, and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.